Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I will be featuring or rather demonstrating to you how I apply my foundation and I will be featuring the Kat Von D Lock It Long Wear Foundation. This is what the bottle looks like. My shade is M62. So if you're interested in seeing how I apply it, please stay tuned for the tutorial. So let's begin. I will be using the Sephora brand foundation brush, but first I did apply a primer and I am using the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel as my primer. I'm also going to be using a Precision Blender Sponge by Essence of Beauty along with again my Sephora brand Professional Air Brush precision foundation brush which unfortunately has been discontinued. I usually take about a pump and a half of the product applied on the back of my hand and now I'm taking my finger to just dab the product on my face. I like to work this product in sections because I have found that it dries fast and the brush that I am using is a small brush so it gives me a lot of precision in applying it and blending it out. Now I am going to begin blending the product into the skin um, using the Sephora brand brush and just generously using circular motions applying it just again on one half of my face. Again, I like to work in sections. This foundation has been known to effectively cover tattoos and it provides a 24 hour wear with little transfer resistance. Comes in a range, a nice arrangement, array rather of, of colors. And again, I am, my foundation match is M62. I'm now blending the foundation towards the neck. That is important and because I have a short haircut, it is so important for me to make sure I have it blended into my hairline. Now this foundation does double as a concealer in my opinion, so I'm just applying an additional amount under my eye because I do have some darkness and I'm using the Precision Blender Sponge to blend it out. Going back in with the foundation brush. Now this foundation is sold exclusively at Sephora at a storefront and you can also pick it up on Sephora.com and it retails for $34. I'm going in with the other side of my face and I'm doing the same method I used previously just applying it with my ring finger getting under the eye around the nose around the mouth the chin back to the Sephora brand foundation brush. I absolutely love, love, love this brush. Again, it has been discontinued, but I am certain that they have something comparable to it. I just love the size of it. Um, it does take a little longer to apply, but the, I find, find rather that the 
size is just perfect in applying my foundation. It gives me such a nice, even airbrush finish. This foundation is buildable, so um, you can build it to your liking, but this is what I typically do to get that perfect finish. I even go over my mouth with this. my lids, eyelids as well, and of course making sure to blend down to the neck. Going back in uh, to make sure I have applied it nice and evenly under the eye, trying to really use my ring finger around the nose and around my mouth. Now, I do conceal a scar. Um, if you've been following my channel, I have mentioned this before. So I'm going back in with some additional product to give me that concealed, rather using it more so at this point as a concealer and blending it out with the Precision Blender Sponge. Again, I did pick this up at CBS recently. If all else fails, I like to use my fingers. Now I'm just using a fluffy brush. I actually picked this brush up at Michael's, which is a craft store, and I'm just again blending it out. I do not set this foundation with any powder because it does dry down, or rather um, the finish is a matte finish, so I don't like to set it with a powder. And there you have it, all done. <laughs>